during the DrupalCon Atlanta keynote, the Drupal CMS trial for desktop was demoed. And I thought, you know what, that's that's a pretty interesting concept because I know from doing videos about Drupal CMS, people have struggled to install Drupal CMS using DDEV. And that can be a bit of a barrier to get started. So, so when I saw that they were trialing out this actual desktop application to try out Drupal, I was intrigued. And then I totally forgot about it. And then I saw somebody post something on LinkedIn about it. And I thought, oh, let me have a play with it. Straight away after that, I thought, let me record the whole session. So all I've done at this point is I've just downloaded it. So I just clicked on the Mac Apple Silicon and I have simply downloaded it. So I've not played around with it. And I thought, you know what? I will just record the whole process of me installing it and having a play. Yes, I am pretty lame when it comes to these things. I don't think about, oh, how cool is this tech? I straight away think about, oh, that's great content idea. All right. So I downloaded it and you get this nice little standard Mac little pop-up and let's just go ahead and drag it across. So this is just gonna copy it across. And then if I pull over my applications folder, I can see launch Drupal CMS. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's, oh, there you go. It's now installing a few things. I do have Docker running. And I'm not sure if there's gonna be any issues with ports. There always seems to be. Let's give it a moment. Now, one concern I do have, what exactly is it installing? Because I do have a local setup of PHP and MySQL. All right. So, okay. Let me just go visit that. And oh, that was pretty simple. Okay. That's awesome. Next. Then I'll put in a password. And it goes ahead and simply installs. That was actually relatively simple. So it's running off local host and a specific port. And there you have it. We have a working Drupal CMS site. So all that took was clicking on the installer or the launch Drupal CMS app and it just installed it. And then it gives you a nice big button. That is pretty cool. Now, if we go to reports, status report. So we're running PHP uh, 8.3. SQL light, yeah, makes sense. That is pretty cool. All right, that just that just worked. Nice. I do like that. Ah, so it's shipping its own composer, which is good. And I did see if you scroll down here, it gives you a bit more information on the page. So it does it. So you click on it, it's installing, and then click visit. A one button application. Yep, once it has been utilized. Now, how do I create multiple sites? You can access the, okay, so you can access the site files in the Drupal folder located in documents. To reset, quit the app and try again. Interesting, all right, cool. So let me bring that up, where's my documents? All right, so here's my documents. So I've got here in documents. I don't show you what's in my documents folder, but there is a Drupal folder in there. So, to reset the Drupal CMS install, quit the application, delete the folder and reinstall it. So let's go ahead and test that again. If I quit the application and I go ahead, so you can see here, I'll delete it. And then if I click on the installer again, it's just gonna go ahead and install it. Interesting. Okay, so this is really just a one site launcher. Well, that's, that's, that's how they promote it, which is actually pretty good. It is a way to just get people to use Drupal CMS. So it's not a replacement for running local versions of Drupal CMS. It's, it's there to just download and install Drupal. And that's it, which is actually pretty cool. All right, so we've got this visit site button again. We click on it, it takes us back to the installer. We just go ahead and reinstall it. Again, I'll just put in the same. And now it's just gonna install Drupal CMS again. And there you have it. Another Drupal CMS site has been installed. So if you wanna test out this application, head over to the link, it should be below this video, and then download the application, 
Right now, as of this recording, it only supports Mac. You can see that Windows support is coming soon. So have a play with it and let me know how it goes.